Okay, so... Excuse the coughing, I'm trying to get older over a cough at the moment. Um, so it's part two of Never Heavy Rain. Let's see if I can remember what the controls are since I haven't played it since last time I played it, which was two weeks ago maybe. Oh, okay, I'm in the investigating the thing now. Uh, oh god, how do I walk? Uh, uh, right, so I walk and then I'll get used to the controls again. Uh, let's get that out. And what was it? What was it? Uh, again, another one. Do that. Uh, ooh, it's my DNA now. No? Oh, I thought, uh, oh, there's some camera angle. Oh, there you go. Right, there's some the DNA, I guess. Can I, can I look at it? I must have already looked at it. God damn it! I can't remember what I've already seen and what I haven't already seen. Uh, the print. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Quiet, that's too quiet. Right, so they're going up that hill. Let me just see what this is. Barry, come in. Traces of blood on the railroad track. The blood report indicates an advanced and long lasting state of exhaustion. State of exhaustion. <sighs> Oh my god, he's controlled. Coming. The pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Right, so that was the body over there. Is there anything else? The FBI doesn't keep files on dead cats. Not <laughs> yet. We'll proceed. Like, how far down here do I need to go? Do uh, hang on a minute, mate. Right, I guess that's as far as I'm going then, seeing as I automatically got turned round. Well, that's a bit rubbish. Um. Grass. Oh my god, these camera angles. Sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. 
traipsing about all over the crime scene, these blooming rubbish coppers. Right, I think. Look at them all, what are they doing? That's ridiculous. How are you supposed to keep a crime scene sterile when you've got all these dudes trips in our workshop? Hillside. I think that's it. There's nowhere to go but up the hill now. Can we get up the hill? Come on. I need to get up the hill. Come on. Why can't I get up the hill? Oh my god. Jesus. Barry Common. Traces of blood detected on the fence behind the railroad line. Really? Covered in muck now. Way to treat technology. Oh my god, technology putting your hand in the mud with your super duper glove on. Oh no, no, no. Right, footsteps come this way. Footsteps there. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Memorized. Uh, okay. Very common. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. Maybe the killer's car. Hmm. Maybe. Is that it? Ah! Uh, these controls are so bad. Is that it? Wow. Really? Really? Because it's because he did it deliberately, right? <coughs> no bad. That's it then, is it? Looks like it. Mm. How did I fail that? I had hold of it. God's sake. Okay. No, no. My bad, mate. Sorry, I was going the wrong way. I was supposed to go down, not up. Wow. Anything else? 
and they get turned around and so. Have a drink, maybe if I want a drink. Okay. No. I'm heading back to the office. You stay in. Oh, come yeah, on. Yeah, I'm gonna have another look around if you don't oh, mind. Sorry. Take all the time you want. Press the wrong button. My bad, I was gonna leave with you. But apparently I can't control you. So. Um. I think that's it. Okay, okay. So, what am I doing? Mm. I just saw this. Mate. Wow. Harry, comment. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. Oh, I thought I'd already done this. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. Superficial wound on the right thigh. The blood is identical to that on the fence. Yeah. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. Right. I think I've seen all there is to see. Yeah. This is my car.
Okay. Don't think, Ethan. Give me the first idea that pops into your head. Um, let's go with a butterfly. Butterfly. Uh, a wolf's head. A crab. Blood spreading through water. <laughs> That's not what I said. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? I know he's disappointed in me. I'm not the father I used to be. He's a great kid, you know. He deserves better. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I no longer want to live. I have no reason to continue. I didn't say that. I said I was depressed. Son, Sean. Jesus. I couldn't save Jason. Sean doesn't need a father like me. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? Uh... No. No. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. Okay. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. He looks creepy. Creepy doctor. How did things go at school today? I was punished because I didn't do my homework. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right. No, he's not. Do you want to eat something? Right. Aren't you going to go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. Let's go get it. Come on. This stupid walk. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah! There we go. What do you get, mate? Oh my god. Come on, Dad. Can't Make get on a fly. seesaw.
Oh no. No, Dad, you're not oh. doing it right. You gotta push off at the right time. Sorry. Jeez. My battery's going in my controller. <laughs> I'm gonna have to change it. Oh shit. Come on, Dad. You can do better than that. I gotta let me just change my controller. Uh, Right, let's try again. Oh, try again. Ah, oh, dear me. I failed at that. <laughs> Oops. Try again. Um, what about... No. Roundabout. Do you want the roundabout? Merry go round. What about that merry go round? Roundabout. I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. Great. Training for astronauts, though. <laughs> swing. Go to swing. You want to go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. Oh my god. What's that mean? There we go. Oops. You're not pushing dead. Obviously not, because I'm rubbish. Again. Come on, Dad. Higher. <laughs> I'm delaying the inevitable here. <laughs> Creepy laugh, creepy smile, creepy kid. Looks like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. You know, I didn't mean what I said before. I was just angry. You were right to be angry. I wasn't very nice to you either. What am I doing? Why am I being weird? Come on, Dad, what are you doing? 
coming. God knows. Not walking, by the way. Come on. Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? No. Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. This is a bad idea. Is this a ticket? This is where I get a ticket. What's he selling? Oh, there's a ticket booth. God damn it. Take it, please. One, please. That's a dollar. There you go. going on shit I totally missed that it's alright I didn't die Why am I shouting Sean? I'm Blake's not in the same place as I was before. Whoa. Okay. I'm not shouting his name. He's obviously not here. Why would his back still be here? Weird. Park rules, really? Park hours, no, 8am to something. No parking beyond the parking sign. Campfire's prohibited. No music, sorry, sorry. Pick up the bag. I'm just gonna leave the bag on the floor. I'm looking here in the boot. Sure. Uh. Right, it's not downstairs. Upstairs. Excuse <coughs> <coughs> me. 
lots of weird effects going on on his shoulders. Wow. Ooh, I've unlocked a new bonus. That with Jaden. Take long. Do you think it's gonna take long? Yeah. No, he should be finished soon. Okay. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. We just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get them well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press... They're all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country. Kind of tie, well, This really? guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it is none of my business. No, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, go see Charlene, she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, right, where was... Where was the woman? Where's the woman to speak to? Um... Uh, 
Excuse me. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. <laughs> Follow me. Okay. Ooh. Wow. This is tiny. This? This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Wow. Okay, time to work. Wow. Phone as well. Jeez. Wow. Just pick up the stuff off the floor now. Step one change the office. Let's get a cool virtual office going, shall we? Because the real one's crap. What am I doing? Select. Oh, I see. Right. Let's try that one. Oh, that's nice. Um. Maybe not. What's this one? Uh. Okay. Killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Probably. Uh, what's this? Oh, we got me figure. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Uh, and this is. The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Okay, not 
much going on there then. Uh... Mm, a common species. That doesn't help much. Alright. Um... Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between nine and thirteen. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. The bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. Mm. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Hmm. Oh, what did I do not? Oh, hold on, let's see if we can map everything. I didn't map everything, did I? So I mapped that. Is there anything I can do with that? Can I map that? Here we go again. I better go wash my face. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. I can make it. Whatever it is. Come on. Go to the bathroom. It 
Is everything all right, sir? I'm fine. No one. No one must see. Yeah. What the hell? Why? Making me take it. I didn't want to take it. Out of order. Game forces you to do things. <coughs> Take it. What's going on? This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... I don't know. Did I know? 5.30, I think. I'm not really sure. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. Uh, uh... A beige coat. I think. And a pair of pants. Green pants. I have no idea. <laughs> How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? Uh... I... I can't remember exactly. It all happened so fast. You say you took your son to the park after school. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I... I don't know. I panicked. I didn't know what to do. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple hours. Wow. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Nice. Did they find something? No, nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say. But it is a possibility. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? Wow. <sighs> oh, <God. laughs> 
a bit. You're not gonna <laughs> comfort her or anything. Wow. Just stand with your back to her. Well done, mate. You crap. Okay, that's what that means. Thanks. Thanks for telling me. Happening. My bad, evening. I didn't see the problem. Good evening to you, sir. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. Uh, I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. The killer has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. Like your son, Lisa. I have four days before we find his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. Please, to move along, sir. Wow. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out, and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. Wow. Okay. Good evening, sir. Are you looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the registry. Wow. Don't fucking try anything. Open the registry, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Shit, are you deaf or what? Um. Are you gonna open that fucking register or not? No, sir. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. What did you say? <laughs> this is going to go well. Mind, man. You don't get it, do you? I'm going to put a fucking bullet right between your eyes if you don't do what I say now. You shall not be robbing my register, sir. That money is mine. I ask you now to Bloody leave hell. before it is too that late. was a good save for me. Christ, goddamn idiot. Open the register. Don't make me fucking kill you. No, sir. Don't turn around. That I cannot do. Just don't turn around. I'll waste you, man. I ain't joking. That's fuck. Drop it. Damn it. Missed it. Don't move. Hands up. Missed it. God damn Put it. Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot. <sighs> uh, my name's Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Uh, we're all just gonna be cool, and everything will be all right. Yeah. yeah. I'm cool, man. Everything's gonna be all fucking right. Uh. Uh. Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down and just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice. 
Effective? What's that? Do you have anyone you care for in your life? Okay. A, a girlfriend, maybe? A family? Yeah. A little girl. Oh. I got a little girl. Her name is Jessica. What would Jessica think if she saw you here? Ask yourself. What would happen to her if things go wrong? Uh... You don't really want to shoot anybody, do you? I'm sure we can find a way out of this mess, right? Uh... You haven't done anything serious yet. <laughs> if you put the gun away, we'll forget about what just happened, and that will be the end. Just walk away. Nothing serious. Shit, man! What the fuck do you think I'm doing here? Nice try. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. And now, give me the money. I'm gonna count to three. One, two, uh, three. Uh, sugar, 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 uh. Uh, oh, bloody hell. Get the gun. Thousand thank you, sir. Wow. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been here. I don't know how I managed Just to do that. For nothing. Have a nice Without day. dying. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? Take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza, but maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Oh. Just leaving the dude the there on the floor, are we? I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. I can see now that I was wrong. this to three. My bad. Uh, what am I doing? Um, sure, let's look in the fridge. 
Hey, stuff in the fridge. Yeah, okay. Uh, what am I doing? Whoops. Wow. Curtains, you know. Bit of privacy now. The uh, computer. Where did that noise come from? Okay. Was it over it? Okay, so this is the bathroom. Bloody hell, this is a big bathroom. It's like the size of the apartment. Oh God. Huge, huge apartment. A uh, huge bathroom, I mean. Box under your eyes, love. No idea what that was, but. Well, I took it anyway. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, um. I see. Wow. Was not expecting that. Um. Excuse me. <laughs> excuse nudity. Jesus. Good God, I thought we were going to get a full on it. look at her boobs then. Jesus Christ. Um. Put some on, love. For the sake. <laughs> really? My God. Do we need these shots? <sighs> God for that. So you've just had a shower and you're putting on the same knickers and vest. You minger. At least put some clean bloody underwear on, Jesus. Well, we might as well go to the loo where... Oh no, it's turning the light up. Turn the light on. Turn the light off. What about going to the loo? Can I not go to the loo? 
I can't go to the loo. <laughs> now let's see if she'll wash her hands. Because that bloody bloke wouldn't wash his hands. Are you going to wipe? Are you going to wipe? No, she's not wiping. Oh, she flushed. Do I wash my hands? Wash my hands. Wash hands. Oh my god, this game is shit. Frontal nudity, check. Hygiene, nope. Um. Really? Somebody's been in my fridge. The fuck? What's going on? There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. The phone on the desk. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. Uh, let's go for the door. Let's go for the door. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> the two people? What the fuck? What? He was in front of me and then he's behind me. Are you kidding me? This is shit. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah, fuck, fuck. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No, quick time event. <laughs> oh, there are two of them. Shit. <laughs> oh, God. Three of them, two of them. Oh. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <sighs> run, 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 run. X, X, X. Shit, shit, shit. <gasps> wow. Well, all that did was damage your own telly love, because you didn't, not like you got it over. I need to move over head with it. Ow! What's this all about? Shit! No! Oh my god, the knife was just flying on its own. Oh dear, I died. Jesus Christ, it's a good job it was a dream. That was so traumatic. Whew. Oh, we looked at you, bonus. Right, it's time to uh, call it there, I think enough excitement for one day. Jeez.